bit of an insult. Anyway, next week in Herning, Carl Froch fights Mikkel Kessler, which is a brilliant fight any time of the year. Kessler, former champion, lost, lost his title to Andre Ward in a big shock last year in Oakland. Andre Ward, part of the Super Six along with Kessler. Anyway, it's in Herning. There's 10 or 11 or 12,000. Be thousands and thousands of Brits there. And that takes place on April 24th. You can watch that on Prime Time, which is uh, a, you know it's a channel that I worked for last year briefly. And you can also listen to it live on BBC Five Live. I'll be out there doing the commentary. Any after what is surely one of the longest intros I've ever managed on this show. Let's finally get him if he's still awake. Carl, are you there, mate? I am. Yeah. Sorry about that long intro, Carl. I had to get it all no in. Problem. <laughs> Carl, first and foremost. Um, uh, this vol- let's, let's talk. Let's talk topical. This volcanic ash situation that could delay your departure. Yeah, hopefully not. I mean, mm. I was looking at that in hindsight. The, the fight was put back a week originally from the 17th to the 24th. Everyone so would have been stuffed. Yeah, it looks like it's it's happened for a reason. I say, but no. Hopefully, it's going to be cleared up for for um, my departure. Certainly this Saturday. So you're. Um, you're- you're going out Saturday. Are you going straight to Herning, Carl? Are you doing the Copenhagen, or what are you doing? Are you going to be based straight where the fight is? I'm flying into Billund, which Billund, is yeah. probably 40 minutes from the venue. Yeah, straight okay. to Denmark. Straight straight in. Now, has everything gone smooth during the, the couple of months of training, all the sparring, everything gone smooth? It tells you everything's gone very well. Um, you know, the training, the sparring, the running, the bag work pads, you know, what, what us boxers put our bodies through mm. in, the, in the 10, 12 weeks preparation for a big fight. It's gone as, as well as I could have expected it to. The, the only main things you worry about are injuries, um, you know, bruises and sprains sure. and broken ribs and twisted ankles and stuff I've had in the past and perforated eardrums, but there's been none of that. Everything's been been very, very good. And um, I'm touching wood as I speak because I've got one final spot tomorrow with okay. um, with a couple of lads, one of them being George Groves. Um, yeah, I heard you spot with George. Yeah, um, so I've got one spar left, and then I'm done. It's all just sharpening up and, you know, just Getting ready for it. It's, a, it's an interesting fight, this Kester fight. I know we talked about it once before, a few months ago, but you like Kester. When you went on that Super 6 tour that took in Copenhagen, Berlin, and New York, you and Kessler, you know, you, you, you forged a bit of, you know, friendship may be too strong, but you got on with each other, didn't you? Yeah, definitely. We, it's, it's safe to say we'll get on, and, and, and I'd, like to, I'd like to say he's my friend, definitely. Yeah. I mean... We've got similar interests, um, whether it be super bikes or properties, or just just the basic general ring craftsmanship. The way we both conduct ourselves in the ring, um, we're both warriors. We both like to have a fight. We don't hold, we don't run. Sure. Um, we do, we do the business what we need to do to to keep the crowd entertained and 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 do the sport justice. So. Between us, we we get on well. We do. He was actually mm. sat with my mum for about half an hour after the press mm. conference in Nottingham and. Uh, my mum was being a bit too over friendly with him <laughs> which, which wasn't wasn't the best but you know it's it's business business is business and come fight night we're going to be in there and yeah. it's serious my WBC belt's on the line Kessler's coming off the back of losing his WBA yeah. so he knows what's at stake I know what's at stake and it's going to be um, there's going to be no friends in the ring anyway let's put it that way Do you think Carl that the fact that he's lost he lost his title a bit of a shock to Andre Ward he seemed to get his maths wrong his sums got his sums wrong on the night Ward fought you know a, a mm. very good fight to, 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 to win and I know there was a cut involved but do, mm-hmm. do, do, do you think that this is a more difficult fight because he lost if, he, if he'd have beaten Ward like most of us expected and he was coming into this just defending his WBA you defend your WBC and the Super 6 is the, big, the real thing at stake do you, think it, do you think it's more difficult now that he's lost do you think he's got more to, more to lose therefore far more to fight for mm, potentially I mean every top level boxer goes in there and with, with the, um, the intentions of, of winning and, and winning by well if, if we've got my mentality any means necessary yeah. obviously within the rules but I don't know. It's, you can look at it two ways. You could say that he's got a chink in his armour and he's, sure. he's, he's mentally dejected now and he's coming off the back of a loss. Um, so it's not good to be coming off the back of a loss. Mm. And, you know, when I beat Kessler, a lot of critics are going to say, yeah, well, you know, he was past his best and it's coming off a loss. Well, you can look at it the other way and he's, he's a wounded fox. He's bleeding yeah. and he's, he's fighting for his life. And Absolutely. he's back in the corner and he's going to come out swinging and he's going to come and have a real go because... <sighs> last chance saloon there's, there's too many different ways of looking at it yeah I, I tend to go with the second interpretation and I tend to think that the first four five six rounds I mm. think they're going to be and you probably don't want to hear this I think they're going to be for boxing uh-huh. fans absolutely brilliant I really do exactly he's going to have a real go early on that's exactly why I think he's going to have a really hard 
real good go to try and get a, get some sort of momentum going. And it's my job to not give him any confidence, take his jab off him by using my right glove, out jab him, out work him. And as soon as the opportunity comes, I've got to hit him hard with with my power and, and let him sit down in that corner after round one and after round two and think to himself, you know what, I've lost against Kazagi, I've been beat against Ward, yeah. I've already got second thoughts about where my boxing career is going, yeah. now I'm in against Carl Froch, and I'm getting hurt here, getting this guy's a brother. champion, yeah. and yeah, break his heart, basically, I'm, I'm going to be looking to put him in his place early on, mm -hmm. so that could be dangerous tactics, because you could end up walking onto something, or you could end up in a fight early on, you don't want to be involved in, in his backyard, but... Uh, that's the way I think I'm going to have to approach this, to be honest. Yeah, so certainly, certainly a way that boxing fans would love you to approach it. Carl, let me ask you this, and I want you to answer truthfully. Um, it wasn't so long ago that several several of our sort of world champions had nice, easy runs. Champion for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten years. Now, you've been champion now for 14, 15 months, right? You've had mm -hmm. three incredibly hard fights you're about to go into your fourth really hard fight you know good fights and then in the summer you fight Arthur Abrahams uh, mm -hmm. which will be your fifth now do, I, I know I know I know the instant answers probably you're going to say yeah I like it but do, do you wish you'd have been do you wish it had been 10 years ago so you could have had some some dodo defenses <laughs> no, I mean I'm being well, kind I'm being nice I know exactly what you're saying and, and, and wouldn't it be nice to be in a position where you can you can have these steady defenses and and, you know, earn, earn, earn a good bit of, um, I don't know, pension funding and secure your, secure your future with a couple of steady numbers. But that's not what I'm about. It's really not. I mean, I had a steady warm-up fight for, for Brian McGee. I boxed a guy called Dale Westerman from Australia. And yeah. I've never had my head punched in so much because I was ill-prepared. I just I took him lightly. Um, the training wasn't perfect. That was a bit of a wake-up call fight for me. Okay. Um, of course, it'd be nice to go in there and have an easy touch, but... In boxing, it's difficult. I mean, what is an easy touch? The yeah, guy good. turns up... Still get you on the chin, can he? Yeah, he might be a journeyman, but at the end of the day, he's in there and he's fighting for his life and he wants to win. And if he's got two arms and two legs and he's chucking punches at you yeah. with 10-ounce gloves on, it's dangerous. So yeah. I'd rather be involved in big fights and get it all done and dusted and sorted. I'm looking forward to winning the Super 6 and being able to call myself the undisputed or at least pound for pound up there one of the best fighters in the world because after fighting these consecutive fights you've talked about the three that I've had hmm. Kessler's going to be the fourth yeah, and then, then Abraham the fifth, fifth and then it's going to be a Ward or a Green or another Durrell and then, and then, 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 then one of them again in the final exactly so it's, it'll be an Seven. unbelievable epic of, of a list of fighters hmm. one after the other after the other and yeah. then I can I can throw my hands up and say to the critics come on Give me some criticism. Yeah. What have you got to say about that one? Because no, you can never seem to please the critics. But if anything's going to, it's going to be the Super Six. Hey, listen, the Super Six should 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 please and silence everybody. Listen, Carl, I'm I'm flying out on the Friday. Um, have a good week out there. I'll see you, Rob McCracken, and Mick, and the rest of the team next uh, next Friday evening. Carl Frotch, thanks for joining us, Carl. And I look forward to it, Steve. Take care. See you later, Carl Frotch. There who fights. It'll be on Prime Time if you want to watch it on TV. That's available. You can find out the information on that. This is about 15 quid or whatever, and it's worth every penny of it because it will be a great fight. Here I am plugging something I'm not even involved with. Of course, if you are if you don't want to play, you can listen on BBC uh, Five Live. Um, will be myself and Mick Costello and the great Richie Woodall out there. Carl Frotch there. I like Carl Frotch. I like him a lot. People will accuse me. Oh, you got favourites, Bunty? No. I've got favourites, sure. I don't dislike anybody, but how can you dis how can you not have Carl as a big favourite? Now